As the world adapts to the new normal since the outbreak of COVID-19, the methods of diplomacy have also been evolving. With the prolonged social distancing measures, communicating and emphasizing beyond borders through diplomacy have become more important than ever. Recently, K-pop, K-dramas, and K-movies have been gaining popularity, giving joy and hope to the people around the world amid the pandemic. Through its 167 missions around the world, Republic of Korea is carrying out public diplomacy to promote not only the country and its culture, but also peace, cooperation, unity, and inclusive recovery. It is astounding to see the world create new opportunities amidst the many challenges it faces in its fight against the COVID-19 crisis. Let's take a look into the diplomatic scene. Korea's diplomatic missions organize a reception once a year in celebration of Korea's National Foundation Day. It is an important event that promotes Korea and all its culture and strengthens the bond between Korea and the host country. November 30th, 2021, Paris, France. Unlike the reception in 2020, which was held online due to COVID-19, the National Foundation Day reception in 2021 was held in person, but with fewer guests and utilizing the French Health Pass. This kind of event is a good opportunity because we can introduce people to Korean culture and give them the opportunity to personally experience it. Denise Sung-ho, a guitarist who performs in both Korea and Europe, performed for the audience on this day. And the song that got the greatest response from the audience was... The theme song from the Korean TV series, Squid Game. C'était avant tout une culture qui était un peu élitiste, puis ensuite ça a été une culture chez les très jeunes. Et aujourd'hui c'est une culture qui plaît à l'ensemble de la population française, les jeunes, les moins jeunes. Et l'objectif c'est évidemment de faire en sorte que ce soit aujourd'hui la culture et que demain la relation se diversifie encore un peu plus et que ce soit aussi l'économie, le sport, la politique et autres. Et... The Korean Embassy in France produced a documentary that contains a series of interviews of French people who work in fields related to Korean culture because they have fallen in love with it. Korea's Los Angeles, California, the hub of the American film industry. All these people are here because they are here to play the games featured in the Korean series Squid Game. These games are traditional Korean games that are designed so that the players grow closer and develop friendships rather than putting their focus on victory. I got it! <laughs> At this event, the players came to understand parts of Korean culture that they were curious about when they saw them in Korean dramas. Countries around the world closed their doors in the face of COVID-19, but Korea is making stronger diplomatic efforts than ever before all in the name of digital diplomacy. 
In 2020, due to the COVID-19 lockdown, many embassies in Finland held their National Foundation Day receptions, which is their biggest annual event online. 당시의 일부 기관에서 동영상 온라인 행사를 안내해 오는 안내문을 많이 보내 왔긴 했는데요. 대부분의 경우 그 링크만이 인쇄가 되어 있어서 실제 동 동영상을 시청하는 데는 많은 번거로움이 있었고 따라서 대부분의 경우 이러한 동영상이 시청되는 경우는 매우 드물었다는 데 고민이 있었습니다. After a lot of thought, the Korean embassy in Finland added a QR code to the invitations included in the gifts sent out to public figures. The National Day reception video would be played when it was scanned. 주 헬싱키 외교단 중에서 자체 제작 국경의 영상을 제작을 하고 이를 QR 코드를 활용해서 손쉽게 시청할 수 있도록 함으로써 많은 필란드 사람들이 관심을 갖고 국경의 영상을 시청할 수 있도록 함으로써 한국 대사관 뿐이었다고 평가되고 있고요. 이런 관점에서 상당히 창의적이고 높은 평가를 받았습니다. The Korean Embassy in Finland also focused on an area that had gotten more popular with the spread of COVID-19. Given that the two countries are powerhouses in the field of esports, the Korean Embassy held the Korea Finland Esports Festival. This was a new type of public diplomacy in which citizens of both countries could directly communicate with each other without having to be in the same physical space. The most talked about alphabet right now is probably K because K content is hot around the world. America, Russia, Finland and Africa. K-pop is on every continent and is hotter than ever. The K-pop fervor is especially high in Latin America. K-pop 코너에 참여한 참가자들에게 격려를 보냅니다. They get it on their home fighting. The Korean Culture Center in Argentina held a 12 Latin America K-pop competition and a whopping 221 teams from 14 Latin American countries, including Argentina, Brazil, and Mexico, took part. The highlight of this year's competition was a media facade and an online exhibition celebrating the 8th anniversary of BTS, which received great response from K-pop fans. In Australia, K-pop fans created their own music videos. The K-pop music video parody contest has been held every year since the first contest in 2018. To enter, people need to submit a parody of a K-pop music video that they have created themselves. This year, the participant parodied one of winners' music videos with their family won first prize. K-pop fans around the world say that one of the appeal of K-pop is the Korean lyrics. The people sitting here are contestants in a K-pop contest in Uganda. The contestants sang messages of hope contained in the Korean lyrics. This is the power of K-pop. It is Korea's one of valuable assets and a useful promotional tool. Twenty twenty one marks the twenty fifth year since Korea joined the OEC. 만화 그리고 디지털 인프라 구축에 많은 투자와 노력을 했고 이러한 것이 한류의 성공에 크게 기여를 했다고 생각을 합니다. Um, the Korean music industry was very clever from the from the get going of the digitization as well. But when I'm introducing a Korean movie, most audiences are saying, "Oh, this is a movie from Korea." I think Korea is one of the very first Asian countries clearly identified. This was a meaningful seminar as we sought to leverage the success of the Korean wave to overcome the obstacles in the global culture industry created by COVID-19. Kimchi, the traditional Korean food that is popular for its spicy flavor. 
In August 2021, the California State Assembly officially designated November 22nd as Kimchi Day. To celebrate the first Kimchi Day, the Korea Kimchi Festival was held at the Consulate General of the Republic of Korea in Los Angeles. Beyond just eating kimchi, making and sharing kimchi together is an important part of Korean culture. The tradition of making kimchi together in a group is known as kimjang. Kimjang has been designated as an intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO. During the Korea Kimchi Festival, the participants took part in Kimjang and got to experience that aspect of Korean culture. Honestly, I feel like kimchi has its own unique taste. Love spicy food, so this is really, really good. Absolutely good. From K pop to K drama to K food, we've seen our diplomatic missions promoting Korean culture and helping people around the world experience its richness. Korea's diplomatic missions are doing their best to promote Korea and its culture and to deepen mutual understanding and sympathy with people of host countries to solidify the foundation for further cooperation. Also, amid the COVID-19 situation, Korea continues to uphold universal values and contribute to the strengthening of the spirit of solidarity and cooperation to better connect, respect, and protect all people. August 15th is a very special day for Koreans. It's the day that Korea regained its independence from Japan's colonial rule. In celebration of National Liberation Day in 2021, the remains of General Hong Bam Do, who gave his life in the fight for independence and who was buried in Kazakhstan, were returned to Korea. General Hong Bam Do left Korea in 1908 lay the groundwork for the armed independence movement at Primorsky Krai. He sacrificed his life for the independence of Korea, but he couldn't return to his homeland. He passed away in Kisai, Lorda in 1943, two years before Korea's liberation. At the 2019 Korea-Kazakhstan summit held on the occasion of the Korean president's state visit to Kazakhstan, Discussions began about returning the remains of General Hong Bam Do. The return of his remains is a result of the long diplomatic efforts made to build a strong relationship with Kazakhstan and persuading the ethnic Korean community to cooperate in these efforts. 초기 단계로부터 고려인 사회와 꾸준히 저희가 의사 소통을 해왔고 고려인 옆에. 그리고 고려인의 월, 고려인 원료사, 원료들, 그리고 어, 주류 인사 등을 수시로 접촉해서 이런 설득 노력을 기울여 왔습니다. 홍범도 장군의 유해가 아, 묻혀져 있던 크즈로르다 지방을 방문해서 주정부, 주지사를 포함한 아, 지방정부의 관계자들 다 만나서 아, 구체적인 아, 진짜 홍 장군의 유해 봉환이 이루어졌을 때 구체적인 상황들을 제가 다 논의했습니다. 홍범도 장군님 유해 운구가 시작되겠습니다. General Hong Bam Do sacrificed his life for the great values of freedom and justice, world peace, and the mutual prosperity of mankind. These values were very well reflected in this cooperation between Korea and Kazakhstan. 양국 간 협력을 한층 더 높이기 위한 디딤돌을 놓았다고 생각을 하고 내년도 우리 양국은 어, 한국과 카자흐스탄 간의 상호 문화 교류회의로 삼아서 어, 양국의 우정을 어, 더욱 더 부각시키는 그런 어, 해로 삼고자 합니다. An event that commemorated peace was also held in Germany. This event was held to celebrate the transfer of the Tongyejang Pavilion to the Garden of the Korean Embassy in Germany. Tongyejang Pavilion was built in Postum Square in 2015 
on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of German unification. Traditional Korean pavilions do not have walls and are open in all directions. The Tongyejang Unification Pavilion symbolizes the desire to tear down the walls in ourselves to coexist in harmony. The German people have experienced division and reunification, so they can relate to the pain from separation. This event provided the German people with a chance to reflect upon the meaning of peace once again. Just like how the fallen Berlin Wall became the symbol of reunification and peace in Germany, everyone who participated in the event hoped that the Tongyejong Pavilion would become the symbol of longing for permanent peace in the Korean Peninsula. In May 2020, 11 UNESCO member states launched a group of friends for solidarity and inclusion through global citizenship education led by the Korean Ministry of Foreign Affairs to jointly respond to the deepened hatred and discrimination arising from the COVID-19 pandemic. They issued a joint statement that expresses the international community's resolve to oppose hate and discrimination in the spirit of solidarity and inclusion and to strengthen global cooperation. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs started the Leave Together campaign with UNESCO to spread the message of non-discrimination. Many K-pop artists took part in this campaign with their music. Leave Together campaign is UNESCO and the UN's agreement to end the separation and the global community to end the separation campaign. Many people participated in this social media campaign. The unity displayed by people around the world, including Angel Guria, former Secretary General of the OECD, and Audrey Azoulé, Director General of UNESCO will serve as an important milestone in overcoming this global crisis, especially in an era where international cooperation has become more important than ever. Korea spread a message of global unity and inclusion in response to COVID-19 and worked to protect democracy, peace and universal human values. With its diverse and innovative content, Korea's public diplomacy is strengthening the ties, solidarity, and cooperation with people worldwide. And it will continue to evolve.